Hey guys, I wanted to give all of you another comparison of white snake root. This time, however, we are going to compare it to wood nettle. We are looking at these two plants because some viewers of mine thought that they looked similar, and they're right. They do look very similar. So let's take a look at these two plants and see the differences between them. The first thing that you're going to notice is that wood nettle and stinging nettle are both stinging plants, whereas white snake root is not. That is by far the easiest way to tell these plants apart in the wild. Nettles will have urticating hairs running through the length of the stem, while white snake root just has hairs on the stem, but they do not sting. Those stinging hairs on nettle are responsible for that burning and stinging sensation that we get whenever we touch them. The leaves of these plants do look very similar in that they are ovate in shape, with teeth or serrations running down the margins or sides of the leaves. Wood nettle has an alternating leaf pattern, while white snake root has an opposite leaf pattern. The color between the leaves of both of these plants is another major difference because white snake root will have very dark green leaves, whereas the leaves of wood nettle are much more brightly green in color. The flowers are very different as well in both of the plants. White snake root will have white flowers clustered towards the top of the plant, and wood nettle will have greenish yellow colored flowers clustered towards the top of the plant. The flower colors of these two is a great way to tell them apart when they're in flowering season, which is usually around the same time, from mid-July all the way up until middle of September, depending on where you live. The flowers of white snake root are closely bunched together, and the flowers of wood nettle are spread a little bit further apart. Telling the difference between these two plants is extremely easy if you just take time and look at the details of each one of these plants. Another one of the major differences is the growing environment that both of these plants like. Wood nettle will grow in very moist areas, like along creek and river bottoms, but white snake root will grow in higher up areas, however it can also grow in moist woodlands and fields. You can even find white snake root growing in your lawn, like on the edges of fences and fence rows, and you can even find it in some clearings that you may have on your property that you may not always mow. So right there is a pretty good quick and simple explanation of the differences between both of these plants. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video and I thank all of you for watching. I also hope all of you guys learned something and if you want to learn more about wild edibles or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.